Vader is mad. Oh, he mad. I have chills. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. We are back a little bit late with our reaction to part four of Obi-Wan. And the reason why we're late is because we just got back last night from a road trip to uh, Utah and Arizona. So we were Beautiful states. at the Grand Canyon and Zion. Beautiful and national parks. Bryce Canyon and- Pretty amazing. It was really fun. But we've been dying to watch the next episode and we're really excited to see what happens. We've been trying to avoid all the spoilers. So last time on Kenobi, what happened? Everything crazy. Darth Vader? I had like a existential crisis. You're insane. kind of staring blankly at the. Uh, I watched it back and I was like, "Wow!" At the I wall, was you really were like, staring for a long time. <laughs> yes, you were flipping out. Uh, yeah, um, it was so good. Darth Vader and Obi Wan had some sort of Star Wars fisticuffs. Um, <laughs> they got they got a little bit into it. People were complaining about that episode a lot, and I don't know personally. People like to complain about. All Star Wars things. Exactly. And I don't know how people feel about this next episode, but I just know that with the previous episode, people were saying, oh, that was a terrible fight. And I'm like, and there were some other things. There are simple answers to all of these things. I'm about to lecture for a minute. So if you want, you can skip ahead. There are timestamps in the description, but I have a few things to say. That wasn't even a fight. That was Obi-Wan trying to lead Vader away from Leia while also being terrified. And Darth Vader and weakened because and weakened, he's not sure. in like yeah. training shape. Or but anything. I don't even think people are like I don't even think that's even the biggest. The aspect most the of most that. is like his emotional turmoil. Yeah, well, yeah. emotional turmoil and the point of that scene is leading Vader away from Leia, giving her the chance to escape, mm -hmm. leading Vader away from the village. You know, like the whole point is you know. He doesn't really know what to do in this situation. He's kind of moving on. And then on Vader's side, Vader's motivation is, I'm trying to see who this Obi-Wan is. I'm trying to relish in my feelings of hatred. And I'm trying to kind of figure out how I want to go about enacting my revenge. So it's one of these things where it's not a lightsaber duel. They didn't duel. People keep saying, oh, that was a terrible duel. It's like that it wasn't a duel. They crossed blades. That doesn't make it a duel. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't make it where You're just, like, one you... person is actually trying to get the better of the other. It's like neither of them were trying to get the better of the it was other. Like a, it was just like a game. Like they yes, were each exactly, other. exactly. Yeah. And Obi-Wan was trying to lead Vader away. And Vader was, yeah, testing Obi-Wan. And then people and are- And Vader let him escape. It wasn't like he couldn't do anything about it. He clearly could have killed Obi-Wan, but he didn't want to. He wasn't ready. He what like this is going to be like the People greatest like, revenge of his life. Yeah. So he's like, yeah. I'm gonna take my time. People are like, why didn't he jump over the fire? <laughs> it's like, because we have three more episodes. That'd be too easy. <laughs> it's like, come on, they're doing- Plus, obviously, Obi-Wan can't die yet, so yeah, you have to exactly. just see what happens. Exactly, and then people are, pe uh, other people um, were talking about how Reva goes to the tunnel, mm -hmm. and then the lady runs back outside of the tunnel entrance. Yeah, that part did like, confuse me, but okay. I think there might be like multiple tunnels. Well, no, it's so easy. Reva sees the tunnel and she says, I'm not gonna chase them down the tunnel. I'm gonna go back out the other way and find the exit of the tunnel. Did she do that? that I feel like that's so obvious because you but see her at the entrance. how she know where it goes? I think she's using the force. I mean, it's Star Wars. You can, you can, you know what I mean? Use that as an excuse for everything. Reva sees the tunnel and she's like, okay, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go, instead of trying to catch up to them, I'm going to go intersect. So she doesn't walk into the tunnel. People are like, why didn't they cross each other? She turns around and ends up on the other side of the tunnel. And I just don't think that that is super difficult. Like, it's not a continuity error to just be able to say it's like in the second episode they show this guy with a you know like a get up on for making the the uh the spice in that chemical lab 
and then you, they just show Obi-Wan walking toward that guy, and then they cut to him wearing the chemical stuff. It's one of these things where you can purely fill in those gaps and it's not a huge deal. Um, I don't necessarily, I'm not like defending it as the best directing choice because it did confuse people. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that it's not like, it doesn't break the story. Yeah, exactly. They get a pass, in my opinion, because you can easily... It's like, there's so many... I was thinking about it this week. There's so many ways in which you can complain about every story and say that, oh, that was poor. That's weird, right? Um, and I don't know if this is legit, but a perfect example is... Um, like in the first Star Wars, for example, the Death Star is there or at Yavin 4, and it's like, why is this not traveling with a f fleet of Star Destroyers? Why are the X-Wings able to get right up and close to the Death Star, and the only defense that the Death Star has is its guns? Why is it not like, especially when in Rogue One, it kind of breaks the continuity of that because you do see Star Destroyers around it periodically. So it's like one of these things where, why is there not a fleet guarding the Death Star, how uh, how it is in Return of the Jedi? And then you think, okay, it's just the story. I just have to just deal with the fact that I can poke these holes or ask these questions. Anyway, that might not be a great example, but all I'm saying is people were complaining. I'm just like, let the story just play out. Judge the whole thing once you understand the full picture of the story. That's how I feel about it. Um, you can like say things, oh, I, I don't, I'm not pleased with this in the moment, but I'm gonna see where they go. But instead people are like, Obi-Wan Kenobi is a disaster and people just like people being- saying that? Yeah, well, you know, people like troll, like they just like to be trolls online. They like to cause drama basically because they wanna be hyperbolic in their statements without actually saying the good about things. They just try and complain. And then it helps them basically to spark the and cultivate the outrage over something mm -hmm. so i know that's a little cynical of me to say but it truly is as i'm reading these like comments and seeing these other videos and things like that on youtube you know with these like really hyperbolic statements in the thumbnails or in the titles and i'm just like are you actually paying attention and trying to like think about it in a way that is like in good faith everyone like just assumes bad faith regarding everything. Just like everyone, yeah, oh, everyone's out to, you know, capitalize off of you. Like they don't care about story at all. They don't care about character at all. And it's like, that's a, I know I'm ranting a little bit before the reaction, but that's a, um, that's not a great way to look at life, or at least that's not like the most enjoyable way to look at life. So. On this channel, we try to be positive, and we loved the last episode, and um, I'm sure we'll enjoy this next one. Okay, with all of that out of the way, let's just watch this next episode Woo! of Kenobi. Get the Bacta tech ready. Yes, Bacta. Wow, oh. he's like Anakin now. Yeah. Are they at Jabim? Jabim, I think is what it's called. Is that a new planet? Yeah, it's where the Jedi apparently are being funneled to. Oh. Obi-Wan and Bacta! Let's go! Wow, dude, the parallel between him and Anakin right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, true. Oh, those burns look bad. Oh, yeah, there's uh, the parallel. Wow, that's really cool. Dude! They're both like reliving yeah. it. Well, are they sensing each other in the back to tank? You know, like they're both in back to at the same time. Woo, okay. Where is? Oh. Oh my gosh. Yikes. She got taken there. She's so cute. <laughs> I just said. You have no words here, princess. Reva is annoying though. The, yep. the actress is doing a good job, but she's not a likable character. Yeah, she's I mean she's a villain, you're not, not supposed, supposed to like to be, her. Yeah. But Obi Wan is dead. Ooh. Don't believe her. He's coming. Transport out of here. Too many people are looking for you. You put us all in danger. Obi Wan's wearing uh, Jedi robes. So that's it. 
Fortress Inquisitorius. Fortress Inquisitorius. That's so freaking cool that they brought that in from Jedi Fallen Order. I love that. None of these people know like what makes Leia important. Oh, they, you know, for all they know, it's just a ten-year-old girl. She ripped it out of the wall. Yeah. She's gonna read her mind. Don't do it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Don't believe her. No, sweetie. She's manipulating you. Oh my gosh. I don't know anything about a path. Good job. Good job. Well, let's think a little bit harder, shall we? No, don't do it. Mm. Don't do it. <laughs> the design of Fortress Inquisitorius is one of the coolest things. And it really transfers into live action super well. Mm hmm. What are you going to do if your cover isn't? How does nobody know that she, like, how is her cover not blown yet? Well, I think because she, I don't know. Because she killed all those soldiers. Yeah, but nobody saw her do that. It's true. So that's why she's not totally sure. But she's wearing an Imperial's uniform, so nobody really is noticing who yeah. she is at this point. Yeah. And you will address me as sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, she's taking that. Route. That always works. Just Does she know the Grand Inquisitor is dead? Dead? And he didn't even question it? I don't know. It's weird. Also, her cover is that she was part of the Empire, so she is legitimately... Right, right. Yeah. She's a double agent, kind of mm -hmm. like Callus and Rebels or something like that. She just hasn't been found out yet. Yeah. This is cool. This is totally what you did in Fallen Order. You totally yeah. swim underneath. This is exactly from Fallen Order. That's cool. That's crazy. It kind of looks like a Sarlacc. Like an underwater Sarlacc. So, that means Cal already did this. I know. Yeah. Why didn't they update their security? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Your weak point, guys. Maybe they didn't realize how he got through originally. I don't know. Mm. Wow. He looks cool in his Jedi robes. Let's go. I'm in. Why? I mean, I feel like he should be in disguise too. It would help at least. They all like a lot of people know what Obi Wan looks like, so it doesn't even matter. Dude, she has the force. I know. She can resist. I know. Come on. It's not working. Wow, she can't read the mind of a freaking child. She's so much um she's so much stronger than that guy in the second episode who got his re mind read like that. Reva backstory. She's the yeah. It's so obvious that she's from the start of that, unless it's red herring, but she's from the start of the show, for sure. <laughs> NPCs. I know. That's so funny. Is that, um, what's their names? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The two guys, yeah. Yeah. Nope, they're about to die. Use These the stormtroopers are dead. Guys, they really should have like a turn off feature on those. They're freaking, freaking dead. Because it's so annoying. Like anyone can talk to you at the worst moment and yeah. then your cover's blown. It's like, yeah. turn the volume down. She hates the Jedi so much and she's basically seeing herself in Leia. Yeah. I can save you now, Leia. Is it you? Like she's basically talking about yes. herself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Childhood trauma! Yeah. I'll tell you where they are. She's gonna... I just 
<laughs> so evil. She's totally gonna lie. She's so, like, that little actress really is Leia, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Like, she really is just Carrie Fisher, but younger. Or, like, the spirit of Carrie Fisher and how she played Leia. Just a younger They're version They're going to torture her. Oh, we've seen these rooms. Again, we've seen all of this stuff. This exact torture device in... Yeah. Yeah. Fallen with, Order. Uh, with Seer? Literally all of this is taken from Fallen Order. Help! Help! Please! With Seer, right? Yeah, Seer and Trilla both got tortured in that way. Yes, save her! Whoa. What is it? Are those like dead Jedi? Because it's into the fortress. <gasps> no! No! Who's that? That's the old Jedi that helped Ahsoka, the old one. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh no. This is your last chance, Leia. They are they frozen? That's what I was asking. Like they're just dead. Say something! Then your choice is made. Oh. Wow. They're frozen, like frozen in amber. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no. Are you gonna die right now? Sorry to intrude. This is dangerous. Florum. That's where uh, Hondo is based out of or had been based out of for a uh, long time impressive. she knows yeah she can sense oh she knows why did you try this he, he said he needed a distraction Bruh. yeah oh! yes yes that was, oof, that was sick that was like ahsoka in the yeah movie. that was great Yay! Oh, I think she's gonna die. Why can she discern so well? What does not make this sucks. Old man and the little girl the He's not even old. He's middle aged. Chill out. Old is relative, I guess, right? For them. <laughs> yes. Yep, she's playing it. Yeah. <laughs> that was awkward. Bro, why do you guys have armor if it doesn't tap a blaster? I know. Yeah. Oh! His lightsaber looks so good. Yeah. I love how it's so bright. Yeah. Wow, he's using it! Dude, let's he's go! He's a Jedi he again! He's training! He's a Jedi! Yeah! A he even did a little... He did a twirl! It's like... So classic! Yes, Obi-Wan! Let's go! Yes! He's a master! Oh! Ooh. Oh, what are they called? Uh, death, no. Death, no, they're not death troopers. Oh, they're from Fallen Order. It's so cool to see oh, them come back. Oh, again. This is the second time. Again. Wow. Let's go. Dude, I love seeing Let's him twirl his saber go. like that. It's Let's so reminiscent go. of the prequels. Like, I love that. So awesome. See, he's not, he's not that out of practice. Ah! 
Shoot. Oh, wow. This is like a replay. Oh! This is like a replay yeah. of the game. It's crazy. I love seeing that uh, trooper in live action. Oh, he's gonna let it go now. Yeah, do it! Yeah. Do it! Oh. Do it! Yes! Run. Run! Let's go! Yeah! Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Guys, you that really- That was great. You really need to f fix your- Yeah. This whole system of having it underwater you isn't the best problems. system. Nobody's noticing? I love that sound. Frick. Child. 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 No, no, no. Guys, leave! That's like a callback to sequel. <laughs> Traitor! Someone comment below and remind us what those black troopers are because they're not death troopers, I know. I forget what they're called. Let's go! What? Yes! Attack! <laughs> wow! Yeah! Da, 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 da. This feels good. This feels. Oh, she shot a mouse droid! No! No! Why the poor mouse droid? <laughs> It didn't deserve that. It was so innocent. Wade! It's Wade! Who's Wade? Isn't that someone we know? No. Who am I thinking of? I don't know. Wedge. I'm thinking of Wedge. Oh! See, Wade's dead. No! Wait. Wait, no. Sad. Shock, they're not, they're not shock troopers. They're not. I, they might be. <laughs> Vader is. He mad. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, he mad. I have chills. He's so mad. <laughs> He's like, yes. <laughs> He's so happy. <gasps> Shoot. I, I, mm. I put a tracker on the ship. Did she though? Did she really though? How did she how would she have done that though? Or is she just using this to get out of this Probably. situation? But why uh... I have underestimated you, but my lord, the base was almost destroyed. Is all that Punish her! <laughs> There can be no mistakes. Whew. That was a good Vader scene. Yeah. Is there a tracker though? There That's must the be. There must be. She's so sad that Wade died. She must have loved him. It's gotta be hard when there's like not that many of you. And yeah, you and I guess other. I guess the implication is that the rebels aren't really around yet. So the idea it's that it's just a small band of yeah. people that are like family. Yeah. It sucks. They're really capturing like the humanity of the. Like, you know, cause you lose so many people, but they don't always go into like how right. hard that is for them. Yeah, sure, you know? sure, totally. She's so sweet. <laughs> Every episode. <laughs> Every episode, she just looks at me with tears in her eyes. Wait. It's a tracker with Lola. That's what it is. Oh, shoot. No. Yeah, that's no. what it is. No. Lola's a bad guy now. No. Dang it. We underestimated her. Just like Darth Vader. It seems I have underestimated you. <laughs> oh boy. So. 
they're keeping a bunch of Jedi just like in it looks like amber like Jurassic Park or something but they're not it's not like carbonite like they're not alive yeah I would assume that because he it's, said it's a tomb it's he a knows tomb. they're not alive yeah. well and that's why, my yeah. question was are they frozen so that whenever an inquisitor dies you replace that inquisitor with you like get to work on a new Jedi that's frozen or is what, it like they reanimate them and bring them yeah, back to life? Yeah. Or is it legitimately just a trophy room? It's I think it's almost just a like sick trophy room. Darth Vader's trophy room is kind of what it feels like. Yeah. Because he's technically leading the Inquisitors. Like it basically. Yeah, I mean, rank... like the whole point of the Inquisitors is to get the trophies, the Jedi, get yeah. them and kill them. And it's like having a stuffed like deer on your wall or right, something. It's right. like, look what I've accomplished. Look what I hunted. And yeah. Look what I got. Yeah, yeah. So it must just be a trophy room. Because I would, I would think you know, if it was just oh we're just gonna take this Jedi and thaw them out basically and make it replace an inquisitor you would always have like a replacement for the second sister that would be called the second sister you'd always have a replacement for you know the different inquisitors that die basically um so here's a question when the grand inquisitor dies they're like oh i'm next in line for grand inquisitor in rebels the grand inquisitor dies and who becomes the Grand Inquisitor after that? Because we see three Inquisitors after that. I don't know. Comment hmm. below your speculation. And they really still haven't addressed the whole yeah. Grand Inquisitor thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. But they are focusing on the Inquisitors so much in this show that I would imagine that they are going to bring it up at the end. Mm -hmm. Like this whole episode took place on Fortress and Inquisitorious. We have two episodes left, so what do we think is going to happen? The next episode, they go back to Jabim. And obviously there's going to be a confrontation. They're going to find yeah. them with the tracker. Well, I wonder if the next episode is going to be set up for the final episode with the tracker. Or if other things are going to happen, you know? Well, obviously they have to have like a big epic duel. Yeah. You know. I wonder if that's going to happen in the next episode. Like, what is Jabim, when is that going to play into any of this? Because you know that they're, like, at least my feeling is, is that the path is going to be found out. Like, Vader and them, they're on their way to Jabim. It's a good, um, like, jail breakout episode. Yeah, yeah. And we saw Obi-Wan with his saber again. He's, he's good. He's getting more comfortable. He's getting the hang of it again. I love that they are... They could have gone a number of different ways with the saber fighting. They could have made him like Alec Guinness. Um, what, like all stiff and frail? Yeah, stiff and kind of... You know, they could have gone that route, which just wouldn't make sense. Um, they could have gone the sequels route and just made it so that, you know... It just isn't, like... Really super engaging. But in this, I feel like it feels like Obi Wan when it's he's doing the prequels when stuff. he's doing certain twirls and stuff like that. Yeah, he's like, like oh yeah, like get, I guess what I'm saying is like, feeling, like not even twirls with his hand, but like a full body spin. Yeah, like you. Well, it's just it's Obi Wan's fighting style. You can already see. Like, you don't see that in the sequels as much. You not that people don't spin like spin around, but they do it in a way that isn't like those like Jedi flourishes that you get mm -hmm. from the prequels. Mm -hmm. But you totally saw Obi Wan do that in this episode, which mm -hmm. makes me like so appreciative mm -hmm. of that. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, a little spinny spin and a twirly twirl. And, and he, he's like, I know. And then he like he like got in back in position. I know. He, he like, like gets oh, back in position. The like Jedi forms. Like he like forgets forms. where he he. There's like a little moment there where he forgets where he is. Like, Almost like a, he was like going through the motions. Like, like yeah, like just like he's like is getting in his position like like a martial artist. Or yeah, something. like or and like he's, he's like, like riding a bike and he's like. Oh, like just remembering the form, and then he's like, and like "Oh, Leia, let's go." You know what I mean? Not like, like, not just like hit him, and yeah, then just like, like, "Okay, like, Leia, let's go." He like got into his flow state where he was just going, and yeah. then he was just like, and then he's like, oh, "Okay, now we're going." He's like, "That felt good." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's so like so good to see. Him. I bet it's like, 
really relieving to be able to use his saber in the force after so long of like, like repressing that yeah acting as though you didn't have that but like that's such a big part of who he is the saber looks really good too like mm -hmm. it looks even better sequel yeah. sabers look good but when the luke uh spoilers for mandalorian season two i'm sure everyone has watched that but when luke shows up and you see the green saber for the first time it's like something about it just looks so good hmm. and like i don't know how to just explain the special it. effects have gotten better no i don't know if they've gotten better since the sequels it's just the way that they're designing it hmm. I the just, glow is really nice. The glow the is flare. so nice, yeah. And the color is so rich. And the so way the, the like, sparks and the smoke fly off of it when things hit yeah. it. Yeah. I just think the sabers look like they're best right now, you know? I don't know. I really like them. Yeah. I really like the sabers. Reva. I, I said, wonder what's going to happen with I her. said at the beginning of this that she was annoying, like, and what I meant by that was no one in the show she's out for herself no one in the show really respects her mm. and i think i'm projecting through that but i do feel like in this episode she was cool like she's playing a villain well <clears throat> and reva i think is turning out to be a good villain for the show like a good key villain like i wouldn't even say darth vader is the villain he's more than a villain he's more of like a mm. He's more of like, he's not a, he's, I, it's not a. He's like a god. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's like a, yeah, He's I like the know. big bad and she's like a demigod or something. <laughs> <laughs> I just think she's like the central antagonist. Yeah. She's I the mean, one chasing after her. and like the conflict is motivated more by her. Um, I just so. wonder if she will turn, if she'll have a moment where I don't know, like she encounters Obi-Wan or something and he like uses the force to like, I, I don't know if something will happen where she's like, oh, something in unlocks inside of her and she's like, and she like realizes all of this is stemming from her pain and her abandonment. And she like, is like, I don't know, almost like maybe I don't have to do this. I mean, it is a staple of Star Wars that, you know, if you have a character like this, they are... Redeemable. Redeemable. I mean, it is foundational. And that's like the core message mm. of Star Wars. So it wouldn't be a problem for mm. them to repeat that motif. You know what I mean? Mm. Even if it's not like a huge thing where she's like, oh, I'm nice now. Hooray. But if it was like a moment where she like, you know, lets them go or she's like, okay, like, you know, like she has... A moment where she's like, I can let this go. I don't have to, like, let this consume me. Like, As long as they don't, don't do it exactly how they did it with Trilla in Fallen Order. Because that moment is so amazing. Oh, yeah. That moment when you, when they're trying to convince her and... Rem remind me how it happens. Seer, you're fighting her. her master, you're fighting her, you win. Seer, her master, is, like, basically, like, pleading to her and apologizing for what she right, did. Right, right, right. And then Trilla is basically like, like ready to let go. You can like, the, the mo she doesn't even say it. Mm. Like she tees it up. She's like, oh, I've carried so much hate for you before. And she pauses mm. and then nothing happens. She doesn't say anything else. You just hear footsteps. And you don't understand yeah. why the look on her face is starting to change. Yeah. That's, that's and then Darth Vader's there. And then she's just scared. Mm -hmm. And it's like... And then she just says, Avengers. Yeah. I don't think that... Uh, here's the deal. I don't think that Reva is scared of Vader in the same way that like Trilla was in that one part. Mm. She doesn't act super scared. Yeah. I don't know. You know what I mean? She has... Like, her rage is, like, so all-encompassing that she's, like, not scared of anything. It's, it like, her one motivator. Like she... She doesn't have much to live for except her revenge. Yeah. It's the same kind of thing. Yeah, it's but like, I guess what I'm just saying is is that, like, it was that was a great scene when Darth Vader, like, runs in there and is, like, choking her and stuff like that. Um, but... I don't know. There's just this impression that I have that like 
she almost thinks of herself as like above everyone else. Yeah. Even though it's that's like, what makes her annoying, actually. Yeah, because like, you can see is. everyone like disrespects her, but she like thinks she's the greatest she's of all like, time. She's like, I'm the goat, <laughs> and you all are peasants, yeah. basically. Like, <laughs> and she feels that way even when she, like, I don't know. She's just like, oh, I'm smart, and she is. She's doing a good job. I mean, she is accomplishing. Like, she's the reason for the conflict. So, yeah, There's I that. just. Yeah. A, a big theme of, like, the Jedi, the the younglings that they captured, the Padawans. You know is... who she reminds me of? I'm sorry. What? I'm so sorry. She to especially if they do the redemption arc, she totally reminds me of Zuko from Avatar in the first season. <laughs> yeah. Because he's annoying in the first season. Yeah. He's like... Uncle, he's like honor, honor. I need to get my honor back. <laughs> and he's like, he's a good character. That's basically what she's. Saying. She's like honor. I, well, and he's like, she has these people above her he's and like, around I just, her. I just need to get and the avatar. She's not, yeah. Mm. The deal is, she's totally Zuko because she's like, I have these people around me and, and above she's me, like all angsty. and I don't respect. And she's super angsty, and she's just like, and she even has the kind of ponytail. Like her like <laughs> silhouette is like Zuko's almost, but she like Obi Wan just needs to be Uncle Iroh. <laughs> right, yeah, but he, I Have guess some calming jasmine tea. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she has like the same essence as Zuko in the first season. That's pretty funny. You know what I mean? So if they really build on her backstory in the same way that they do Zuko, a little bit more, it could be more, cool. It could be cool, especially if she does turn. Um, but will she die? Yeah, I wonder. That's the question. I don't know. I just totally figured it out. Zuko is annoying in the first season of Avatar. Like, you don't want to like see him on Like, headstrong and sure of himself and just... Kind of petty. Over, like, uh, arrogant and... Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's totally her vibe. And uh, so, yeah, we'll see what happens with her. But Yeah, that'll be interesting. So, what do we have set up? They're going back to Jabim. The tracker is there. They Anakin and Obi Wan yeah. have encountered each other. They're going I just realized to though each other again. this happens so often in shows what? that it makes you wonder like why they don't just like leave. Who like if they have like an, an interaction where they're like here at this base or something like that. Why are they not assuming that there's a tracker on them? And I'm not like knocking Wait, what this do you, show. What do you mean? I'm knocking all of the shows that do that. Why are, is who assuming what? Like, why are the why do the good guys always assume that after an interaction with the bad guys, <laughs> they can just go straight back to where they want to be? That's true. You know what I mean? That's true. That happens so often. Yeah. Why wouldn't they be like, okay, search all of your stuff, make sure there's no trackers, and actually, just to be extra cautious, let's go to a different planet and pick up a different ship and go from there. Exactly. And like change all of our. If this was like Mission stuff. Impossible, like there's these scenes in Mission Impossible where he like gets a phone and then oh like the self this the you know this phone? message will self destruct <laughs> or like they throw it into a trash can or like they're well, just well they're like, not that advanced yet they're really ragtag like I get that they're but not... I'm not knocking this show because they do that so much yeah they're like yeah. They have an interaction with the that. bad guys, and then they're like, Tracker! Well, let's go straight back to where we were and where our whole base of operations are without any question. Anyway. It's true. It's kind of funny. I really feel as though it's headed in a cool direction for the finale, which is in only two, you know, we have one more episode and then it's the finale, which I hate. No. Um, but hey, they might do a season two, which if they do do a season two. Do do. If they, or a follow up show. <laughs> Uh, that would be interesting because one of the things I'm in the minority here I don't hear people say this often but I would really like to see more Jedi stuff um, I really like like in Jedi Fallen Order the um, all of the stuff with the force that you do in that game mm. and the whole force path in that game mm. that you go on and the path in this you know what I mean the idea of these like force sensitive people that are kind of like meeting in this underground railroad type thing um, that's super cool. So I want to see more Jedi stuff. So if they do a follow-up And the build-up of the, of the Rebels and stuff. Yeah. Like the yeah, the early days of that. Yeah. I mean, we, we get that a lot. We get that in Star Wars Rebels. We're going to get that in Andor. But, yeah. but in the Force-sensitive side of things. Like, yeah. you wonder where are the Jedi that survived? 
clearly mm-hmm. there's a ton because there's a the, lot of untold stories because over there. the past ten years the Inquisitors have been collecting them all. Yeah. Um. So, if there were ten thousand Jedi at the end of Order sixty six, you would think that like at least a few hundred would survive. We've only seen we've seen under fifty so far. So pretty anyway. crazy. It's interesting. Well, let us know what you thought about this episode in the comments. Tell us your thoughts. Sorry it took us us so long to get it out. Um, This next week, we are actually going to be going out of town again. uh, To Disneyland. To Disneyland. So um, what we will do is is we will record our reaction in Anaheim. And then we will try and get it up sooner. For you guys to watch so it'll be an interesting it'll be an interesting way because normally we watch it here so we're gonna have to figure out the way that we're gonna do that but it'll be fun though it will be fun so don't forget if you're new to the channel to subscribe and turn on notifications join us for the Woo! rest of kenobi oh. and all of the star wars things we also play video games and um do video game playthroughs and we're going to be reacting to more shows and we'll start doing movies at some point um oh i was just gonna say i had the same thought at the same time yes also something we're super excited about we just hit a thousand subscribers and we are just so thankful for all of you guys that have jumped on and joined us on this journey oh, over yeah. the past few months of building this channel um so we actually <laughs> just launched our patreon which we're super excited about that's going to be a really fun way to connect and have a community and build up the channel as yeah. something that we can do more regularly for and you guys to make requests of things for us to react to yep. all that kind of stuff yep so um if you'd like to join that community support us go ahead and click the link in the description or somewhere on the screen um we would love to have you join us and you'll have special perks you know, a lot of folks know what Patreon is at this point, so we don't need to explain it. But yeah, if you want to join our Patreon, we will be able to do this more often and uh, more on a regular basis. And we love doing it. We love being part of um, the fandom. We love celebrating amazing things with you guys. So join us and um, join us. <laughs> join us, and uh, we'll be able to continue to do that with you. So yay! Thank you guys so much for watching and. Comment below what you thought of the episode, like all of the YouTube things, and we will see you guys next week. Bye.